Welcome back. The end of the school year is almost upon us, which means that I will be ending my film coverage for Heelkeberg High School. But before we go off into the summer, I wanted to take a look at everything that we'll be releasing over the next few months and let you know what to see and what to avoid. We're going to start on June 9th with Transformers Rise of the Beasts, which promises to be less audacious than the Michael Bay films of years past and probably less interesting as a consequence. On June 16th, Pixar releases their newest film, Elemental, which looks to be acceptable fare for families, but in all honesty it's quite likely that it will be continue to be trounced by the Super Mario Bros. movie, which as of recording time shows no signs of slowing down financially. Also releasing on June 16th is DC's The Flash, which looks so terrible and corporate that I refuse to give it any more free advertising. Audiences can do better than this. If you're looking for a real movie after that travesty, on June 23rd, director Wes Anderson's newest film is released, Asteroid City. Fans of the director's previous work will know exactly what to expect here and will likely enjoy it accordingly. What Asteroid City does have, more than any of Anderson's previous works, is an absolutely stacked cast list of stars. I mean, it's insane. And closing out June, we have Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which is confirmed to be Harrison Ford's last turn as the iconic character. Will Dial of Destiny prove to be a satisfying end for Dr. Jones, or will it prove to be another Crystal Skull-esque disaster? It remains to be seen. On July 12th, we finally received Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. The long-awaited sequel to the incredible Mission Impossible Fallout looks to be one of 2023's most bold and awesome spectacles. On July 21st, we get what is perhaps the most hotly anticipated movie event of 2023. This is, of course, the same day debut of Greta Gerwig's Barbie and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. This double feature has everyone talking because of their stark opposition to each other. Which one of them will be more successful? It remains to be seen, although it's safe to say that both will be of a very high quality. Then, on July 28th, Disney releases a new adaptation of the Haunted Mansion ride at their theme parks. This film seems to be aiming for a horror comedy tone and features a great cast of comedic actors, but whether this new imagining of the classic ride will be better than the atrocious 2003 Eddie Murphy film of the same name remains to be seen. Finally, we move into August. On August 4th is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, which looks to be bringing the iconic turtles into the new generation with the 2D, 3D animation style popularized by Into the Spider-Verse. Much of the actual content of the film remains to be seen, but the animation looks absolutely stunning. Finally, the last movie of the summer will be DC's Blue Beetle on August 18th. If you're still somehow invested in every single major superhero movie that gets released, good for you, here's another one. If you want my recommendations for the summer, I'd especially check out Asteroid City, Barbie, Oppenheimer, and Mission Impossible, and I'd avoid soulless, unimaginative fare like Transformers, Blue Beetle, and The Flash. Everyone has their own opinions on film though, so go see what you like. And that brings the summer blockbuster season to a close. As we move into fall, we'll see less huge studio temples and more prestige fare, most of which are likely to be monumentally better than most of the movies I just talked about. Keep on the lookout for Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon in October, along with Dune Part 2, and Ridley Scott's Napoleon and David Fincher's The Killer in November. All of these are quite certain to be phenomenal films. And that, finally, closes out my 2023 film coverage. I won't be able to do it again in the coming school year, so this will be my final sign-off. Be good to one another, stay healthy, and most of all, keep watching movies.